Dr. John Furbe. I don't know exactly what a conference is supposed to be, but I heard recently that a conference is a place where people come together who are confused. <laughs> and they go home still confused, but on a higher level. <laughs> now, those people who fly have a different point of view of the world from the people who spend their whole lives on the ground. Don Blanding wrote a poem once when he was flying, and he called his poem the God's Eye View, and he said it was so different from the view he always had on the ground, which he called the Bug's Eye View. Now, I thought about that Bug's Eye View when I was over in Tehran in Persia. They told me an old Persian legend. It was about a bug who spent his entire life in the world's most beautifully designed Persian rug. Now, according to the legend of the bug in the rug, all the bug ever saw in his lifetime was his problems. They stood up all around him. He couldn't see over the top of them. And he had to fight his way through these tufts of wool to find some crumbs somebody had spilled in the rug. Well, then he would have to fight his way through to some other spot where he would find some more crumbs in the rug. And so he spent his life in this rug, a very crummy life, I would say. <laughs> and the tragedy of the story of the bug in the rug was this, that he lived and he died in the world's most beautifully designed rug. But he never once knew that he spent his life in something which had a pattern. Have you ever felt like that bug in the rug? That you are so surrounded with your problems that you can't see any pattern to the world in which you live? Have you heard anybody say lately that the world is a total mess? That's the bug's eye view. Seeing only a little of it, we might think that. That's why I want to get you up in the air tonight to see something the old bug couldn't see in the rug. Because even he, this bug, if he had once got above the rug so he could have seen all of it, he would have discovered something. First, that the rug in which he was spending his life had a pattern. And second, that the very things he called his problems were a part of the pattern. I think if we understand the pattern of the world today, we'll understand a great deal more about the problems of our world. <laughs>